all have to work together if this is going to help our children. The teacher shortage continues to challenge school districts across South Carolina. Yeah, today education officials presented strategies to the state's Board of Education to boost teacher retention and recruitment. But these conversations aren't only happening at the state level. At tonight's Colleton County School Board meeting, district officials shared their own strategies to fill staff vacancies before the start of the next school year. Our Molly McBride joins us in the studio. And Molly, how is the district planning to fill these open positions? Well, Michael, Michael and Cameron, the Colleton County School District officials say they're hiring for every position. There are 63 vacancies across the Colleton County School District, 23 of those at Colleton County High School alone. District officials not only shared strategies for filling the vacancies, but also talked worst case scenario. We'll see Hamilton, the district's human resources director, says to try to fill all vacancies, they have reached out to every prior student they've encountered at job fairs. Just to say, hey, are you thinking about Colleton? Have you reconsidered Colleton? Um, but we have gotten no no traction on that effort. Hamilton says they've also increased their social media presence, joined online recruiting platforms, and placed yard signs and digital billboards throughout the community. However, in the event we have to, if we're not able to fill vacancies, we we would need to, as a as an executive team, along with CNI, talk about how does it look for Carlton to adhere to the. SC accreditation guidelines for student to teacher ratios. The student teacher ratio in South Carolina is 28 students to one teacher. Hamilton says if the district has to increase class sizes, they'll work to employ peer professionals and add hall monitors in high schools. She says they'll also have to continue their partnership with Full Mind, which is essentially an online instructor. We don't see an, an, any other option but to continue that partnership to help fill some, some of our vacancies. And and look into creative scheduling for the high schools. Hamilton also mentioned creating a program where the district staff would train peer professionals with the goal of them eventually taking over the classroom themselves and reaching out to retired teachers, asking if they would like to come back for a couple more years. Hamilton says they'll be working hard over the summer to fill all the vacancies before teachers return to the classroom on Jul July 31st. Guys.